Driving through Carytown, she is tough to miss. What's cool about this is that it's basically remained unchanged from the very beginning. Like a grand dame aging gracefully. It's still creating history today. The Bird Theater has been watching over her neighborhood since 1928. I think the bird is an important touchstone in history for everybody. For a good chunk of those years, one man <laughs> has been responsible for keeping the bird flying. Movie going has always been a part of my life. General Manager Todd Shalves literally knows the landmark inside and out. I love the fact that I've crawled in all of the different places here in the building and it does, it gets inside your blood. I mean, I get excited just talking about it. To say that Todd cares about the 88 year old building is an understatement. I think that my wife sometimes feels like the bird is a jealous mistress. The Covington native accepted a temp job of relief projectionist at the bird, a position he thought would last six months. And as of this past October, I have been here 19 years. Todd's responsibilities range from caretaker to ticket taker. It's become part of my identity. I go down the street and people yell out, they don't say Todd, they say bird dude. Um, so I think it actually has become part of who I am. The nonprofit Bird Foundation, they are priceless, is charged with restoring and maintaining the 1300 seat movie palace. There might be a dozen places still left in the country which are movie houses of this opulence and this vintage. Going up. The general manager proudly proclaims the bird delivers what no modern multiplex can. And he's not just talking about the $2 ticket price. You come in, the lights dim, the curtain raises, and then the magic begins We've forgotten how to build up to that. Todd says his once part-time job has elevated to full-blown obsession. I doubt seriously that I'll ever actually retire from here. I fully expect they'll carry me feet first out of the building uh, at some point, and I'm okay with that. So next time you take in a flick at the bird, look around, soak up your surroundings, and remember to say hi to the bird dude. I feel like I'm part of uh, a legacy that extends all the way back to the 20s. On top of the bird's marquee, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.